Armies and attacking forces had to overcome these castle battlements and defenses. This led to the science of the siege engine. The earliest and most primitive of siege engines was the battering ram. The Spartans used a battering ram at the siege of Plataea in 429 BC. The tortoise was used to fill in a ditch to allow more direct access to the walls or gate. Later rams were enclosed with an A-frame roof to defend against arrow or stone attack. The device was wheeled up to the gate and ramming commenced. The catapult was the second to come into use, flinging rock or flaming debris at or over the walls. Scaling ladders were popular with the Greeks. The Carthaginians used siege towers against the Greek colony in Sicily. The Romans preferred to assault by way of earthen ramps built up against the wall, protecting their workforce with shields. Ancient siege artillery evolved in the form of gastrafitis or the bolt thrower. The Chinese favored the giant crossbow. The catapult, the ballista and the trebuchet all utilized mechanical energy to enhance their power. In an attempt to stop the medieval weapon technology slipping away, enthusiasts have built a functioning trebuchet. In fact, the largest one in existence. The giant catapult weighing 22 tons is modeled on those used in warfare 700 years ago and can fire boulders and other projectiles with almost pinpoint accuracy over 200 meters away. We wanted to bring something here uh, that didn't exist in the UK. Does, uh, there is no currently far trebuchet uh, in England at the moment. And we wanted to bring something here uh, that would capture people's imagination, bring a piece of history to life, and that was commensurate with the size and scale of the castle itself. The trebuchet has 300 pieces. They were specially made in Britain and painstakingly assembled on site by hand over a five-week period. It was here that those behind it found out if all their calculations and efforts on the trebuchet had worked out. We work in the yard in Wiltshire and we build everything uh, basically in two dimensions, so you wouldn't have the whole thing together until you put it up on site. And so uh, that, was the, uh, that was the crucial bit, actually putting it together on site. We did it all by hand. We hand erected using ropes and uh, blocks and tackles. And uh, that's the crunch part, is when you find out if everything's going to fit and it's going to match in together. Two wheels on the trebuchet are turned to bring down its giant arm, which has six tons of stone in its base. The trebuchet then uses gravity to propel giant projectiles. It's hoped the giant siege machine will demonstrate how past technology was used as part of the armory of medieval warfare.